So let's have a look at the quick rig tool in Maya. Many people didn't try it out because it seems to be a really ridiculous idea that with a single click you could rig a complete character and to, you know, to pose him, for example, or to start to animate or attach some animation to the character. But it really works, it's really surprising. So let's have a look in the rigging section on the skeleton you will find the quick rig tool and the window is mainly something with just one button. It's an auto rig button. When I first saw this one button I thought this is never going to work. It's impossible that a tool could do this complex task in one go. So let's select all of the meshes here in the scene of the character and hit that button and you will see or you will be surprised that you know how well it works with a single click. So here we go, it has created a skeleton that fits into the character, it has created handles for the hand and the feet and the whole body. It's basically a human IK rig that we can use to position the character to even pull the complete character over with the human IK functionality. And you see, this is pretty good. I mean, for a single click, it's actually a very good result. So let's have a look at the details. You see that the elbows, for example, are not in the in a super good position here. So I would rather have the elbow a little bit more up the arm. So how can we influence how the tool positions all these joints in the character geometry? So first of all, let's go and delete this rig that we had here and it's going to ask me do you want to delete all of these parts of the whole thing and then I can go into another section here the step-by-step -step process of rigging that character and this step-by-step -step process starts with creating a character so this quick rig character node is necessary for the whole uh, for all the steps to work properly then I would again select all the geometry and added in this section here, the first section geometry. So I'm, I'm adding all the geometry and then I can deselect the whole thing. The second step would be to create the guides. The guides are the joints or the positions of the joints. And once we create these with the default values, you see that it positions all these joints where it thinks there should be the elbow, for example, or the knee or the ankle, etc. So how do we position these? When you do that in the perspective and you do it like so, for example, you have to move it many times to make sure that it's really sitting inside the geometry or inside the geometry on the right, in the right spot. So there is a snapping tool in Maya for many versions already, snap to projected center, which snaps it into the geometry. You can freely position it on the character and it will always be in the middle of the geometry. So that way I can do it like this and say, okay, so actually the elbow is, must be somewhere here and you see it's inside the geometry. It's very nice. So I can do the same thing with the wrist here. I'm just grabbing the thing, sometimes even just grabbing and moving it a little bit improves the whole positioning of this of this thing. I do the same thing for the knee. So the knee, in my opinion, must be somewhere lower here, a little bit more to the front. And you see it's automatically in the middle of the geometry, like so. And the same for the ankle. I would rather have this a little bit more in the front, maybe a little bit down. And you see I've done that for all of these joints on the one side. I'm going to turn off the snapping now and I grab all these joints now that I have modified and I want to mirror these selected ones over to the other side. That's this button here under adjustments of the guides. So that way you can make sure that everything is symmetrical. Some characters are not symmetrical. That's why it's an optional thing. And in the next step we can create the skeleton and the rig. So that's this one here with all the joints or the, all the joint positions we have now the rig created, which is not yet attached to the character. And in the next step, you know, the skinning is down here and I can even choose, you know, what kind of, what kind of skinning I want. I can customize everything, customize all the settings and do this last step of the skinning. So now I have a rigged character or the, the rig with the positions for the elbows and knees a little bit customized to my needs. 
So you see this, it seems to be a ridiculous idea that this can happen automatically, the whole rigging process, but it's really possible and it saves you a lot of time. Imagine somebody who just wants a few screenshots of your new character and you need something to position the character and to, or maybe to make a little animation. This is a one-click solution that helps you save a lot of time.